Hello everyone, thank you for joining us for today's lesson. Today we're going to continue our discussion on loops um, and we're going to talk about the do while loop and the for loop. We're also going to uh, read um, user input you know, as a string and then convert that as a number into a number and use that as uh, you know, our, our kind of like our counter. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to do is declare two variables. So int my int and string uh, what we'll call this user input. Okay, so let's go ahead and ask the user uh, for a number. We'll just use write. Uh, please enter a number. And then we'll, uh, user input equals, and we'll do console read line. And if we want to just check this, we can quickly do console. Uh, right line, I'll just do uh, user input, and that's a just quick way to run this really quickly. We'll enter number 10, and we get 10 back. And again, remember that's a string and not an integer. So, uh, so that looks good. So now what we'll do is we we'll might as well go ahead and convert this uh, into an integer. So, my int equals. Uh, let's see here, convert user, I'm sorry, int to int32, and then we'll put in the uh, in the variable, the string, user input, and then we'll convert our string to an integer, and we'll just test that by going to my int, and we should still get a number when we run this, 10, but it's actually a, uh, an integer versus a string. So that works. So let's go ahead and get uh, get rid of this and start on our loop. So um, the loop is just like the while, except um, you know it runs one inter iteration always. So we'll do do console right line, and we'll do um, my int equals. And then my int, and we'll decrement that again. And we'll go while my int is greater than zero. Okay, so we'll go ahead and uh, run this now. And if we put in 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So that uh, that worked as expected. Um, so what happens if we put in? Okay, we'll, we'll run this again and say, um, you know, we'll put in ten again, and we'll see if we make a liar out of me. No, it does run once. So that's the the difference is whenever, um, you know, essentially this uh, the execution comes to the do, it enters in, it runs this part of the uh, the command, um, you know, these statements. And then it hits the hits this, and this returns false. So uh, you'll always have one um, one run of that. So okay, um, that's pretty much the the do um, do while. So let's go ahead and get started on the for. Uh, I'll just go ahead and remove. Might as well remove just this part. Okay, so uh, four is a little different. Um, so it's actually kind of easier. So we'll do four. Actually, we can remove. We'll just remove all of this. Makes it easier. Okay, four. Int. Uh, let's do my int equals zero. My int. Le well, my int is less than ten. And then my int plus plus. So if you can see, this is actually pretty pretty easy. Um, everything's just right at the beginning of the four. So we'll just do console right line. My int equals, and this time we're going to actually count up.
Okay, so let's go ahead and run this now. And you'll see that uh, this time, um, go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so uh, basically the for loop, we just declare everything up here. There's the integer uh, variable. Um, my, well, my int is less than 10, and then there's your increment operator. And this is pretty standard for a for loop. Um, uh, so I tend to use for loops you know, quite a bit. I mean, basically, your, your bread and butter are going to be your, your while and your for. I don't use do while loops as much. But anyways, uh, feel free to play around and uh, you know, let us know what you think, if you like the lessons or if you have any questions, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys.